my guru shri k r kedarnathan was a huge fan of uh, brinda ma's music and ramnath krishnan sir's music and he used to frequently speak to us about how they sang the nuances in their music and then used to insist that all his students listen to both of them frequently precision and the sparkling clarity with which he sang every single phrase and whether they were briga laden phrases or gamaka laden briga phrases or gamaka laden phrases there was no loss of raga bhava there was no compromise in the raga bhava anything he sang whatever kala pramanam it might be kriti manodharma nothing was you know every single nu- nuance every single note was absolutely clear and replete with raga bhava that is something very very difficult to achieve i think it came naturally to him because there is a common notion that we hear people say romba fast ah padina adukku gamaka la konjam koranjidum romba briga padrache vande ella gamakum nu full ah vilaadu or gamaka romba nariya padina vande fast ah paada mudiyadu we hear people say those things and even as young when we learn music we we have these you know preconceived notions but one when one hears shri ramnath krishnan sir's music you'll know that it's definitely not true because he could produce anything he wanted with utmost clarity and another thing is whether he sang or begada ragama irukatum or sahana ragama irukatum or hamsanadama irukatum or gauri manohariya irukatum or end ragama irundalum adha vande just or scale a handle pannama or phrase based a because or ra or sahana begada la or arona arona vechindu ragam paadrathu or anything adu or neraval paadrathu or swaram paadrathu is impossible because the raga is not you know complete with just an arohanam avrohanam there are so many important catch phrases to those ragas and when he sang them or first instant raga aarambichone vande ungalku apdiye sahana murshak kaadala vuru and the madri or or just or gauri manohari ragam edutha kuda avar enna da enna imagination irundhalo அது ஒரு ஃப்ரேஸ் பேஸ்டாக தான் நம்மளுக்கு காதில் விழுமே தவிர வந்து அவர் ஸ்கேல் பேஸ்டாக பாடியிருக்கா மாதிரி நம்மளுக்கு ஒரு விழாது Oh, 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 oh. 
approach to raga singing that is something like not just kilen aarambichu mele varaikum peyittu kila varudha andha mari illa oru oru vaatiyum paadrichu there was something fresh or athana ragam paadrichu or bhairavi ragam paadrichu or dhanyasi ragam paadrichu there was something fresh every time i think his is the kind of music which grows on you pa chinna vayasla enna ketomo adha enna purinjudho theriyadhu but slowly as you know as a in a journey you know in a music journey as a musician you know when when you keep learning over the years you start to understand and learn so many small 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 things in life i think nama daily inni kuda na or recording kete vechukonga there will be something for me to take back something to work on something to think about in the in the in the phrase ipdi paadirkare nama adha paadi paapome adha vechu nena ragam paadalam like tadarana na and the or sadharana gandharam otti and the gaava paaduvar அது எப்போ பாரு பாடின்னு இருக்க மாட்டார் பட் எப்போ அதை பாடணுமோ அதோட டைமிங் ஆஃப் த ஃப்ரேஸ் டைமிங் ஆஃப் த சங்கதி டைமிங் இஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டண்ட் ஜஸ்ட் பிகாஸ் யூனோ வீ வி ஹாவ் ஹண்ட்ரட் ஃப்ரேசஸ் இன் மைண்ட் வி கே நாட் ஜஸ்ட் சிங் தம் வெர் எவர் வி வாண்ட் டு யூ ஹாவ் டு டைம் தெம் பியூட்டிஃபுல்லி ஐ திங்க் இ சென்ஸ் ஆஃப் டைமிங் வாஸ் ஆல்சோ இம்பெக்கபிள் யூனோ வென் ஐ ஹேர்ட் இம் ஒரு நேஜேசினக்கு ஒரு ஸ்வரம் பாடுறச்சு பிரேக் நெக் ஸ்பீடில் ஸ்வரம் பாடின் இருப்பார் கல்பனா ஸ்வரம் பாடின் இருப்பார் ஆனால் எனக்கு அது வந்து ஸ்வரமாக காதில் விழுந்தது இல்லை அது ராகமாக தான் காதில் விழுந்திருக்கு because our oru note oru note paadrachiyum i mean you hear it as poorna chandrika you don't hear it as paan maan thani thani thaniya swarama kekadu pamagamari gamari sadani pa padache vandu swarama kaalla vidad enak poorna chandrika da kaalla vilundirukku so that is his greatness i think because there was no loss of raga bhava irrespective of what he sang jesinanne pamagamari sare gamane jesinanne ே <laughs> You might be like immensely talented 
you might have all the skill in the world but i think that is just not enough to absorb or learn this bani or even appreciate the nuances of what shri ramnath krishnan sang i would think it requires a specific frame of mind to look into every fine detail as students of music as rasikas of music as an artist what i would want to say is the relevance of shri ramnath krishnan's music for us today now the the conviction with which he sang what he sang however he didn't compromise for any reason he sang great compositions he sang great ragas and he never sacrificed the carnatic idiom at for any cost enna paadnalo or kalai yashode shuddha sarangala paadnalo adla or carnatic idiom irundathu I think as youngsters we have to you know it's a lesson for us whatever we sing now today we are in a world you know fast moving world where you know we are taken in by anything which is you know flamboyant taken in by anything which is like you know something which hits our eye so, you know there's so much gimmickry involved in today's world and think he was an artist who did not have to do any gimmickry i think his music spoke for itself sans gimmickry his music was absolutely mesmerizing and absolutely you know fantastic i would think the crowning glory which enveloped everything in his music was ruchi adu ruchi describe pananona is very difficult it just you know completely took over whatever he sang avar enna paadnalo or ruchi ada irukum kaadla kekkaradhukku it used to you know have so much bhava and uh, used to have such a big impact on whoever heard his music ruchi ingaradhu vande i would say it is an experience which the artist feels and transmits it into his music and when we hear it we get a certain amount of uh, satisfaction happiness and it hits our soul in a certain way i think that is what i would describe as ruchi and also something you know more than just beautiful you cannot describe it in words so this ruchi was i think you know the most important factor of his music and this is not something which any artist can gain by just learning music or it cannot be taught to somebody it has an experience which has to be felt he must have had in you know a very large amount of rasikatvam in life i mean towards everything he must have been a man who looked into finer detail in ev- for in everything in life because without that his music would not have had such such minute details we all have so much to imbibe from this bani whether we are able to reproduce that or not is is one different uh, thing altogether but at least you know be influenced by it in some way 
Rengyan, if in five minutes in your renditions, if you can bring it up, I think that's itself a big achievement in itself.